really surprises me. The amount of bitch boys out there that can't handle a bit of coffee sipping. I bring to you today Darren Cohen, Bitch Boy of the Week. Can't listen to you slurping like a little kid. Had to nope on out of here. Oh, poor baby. Get the fuck out of here. Welcome to Cactical Maine. Just a little foresight, if you're new to the channel, Cactus Command does not give a damn if you can't handle coffee slurping. If you can't handle coffee slurping, how the hell did you make it this far in life? Huh? Hey. I want the damn show. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Cactical Maine. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, ring that bell. I still haven't been proven that the bell actually works. And if you do want to support the channel to help the channel get more pow pow pew pews for you and me, click on the field links in the description down below or pick yourself up a pow pow pew pew mug. You can see it's coming back from when this picture of the mug was taken. It's coming back. Bam. I would show Dag on it. You've already said that once. Shit. Mm. What in the hell do you mean the ammo shortage is over? Well, guess what? That's what that means so we can feed things like this. That's right. I wholeheartedly believe, and if you've never been to Cactical Maine before, you need to understand one thing. My videos are my opinions and my thoughts only, and I have a video out there that states never go by one man's opinion. It doesn't matter what it is. Always do your research and formulate your own opinion off of multiple ideas. Yes, I truly believe the first half, the first half of the ammo shortage is in fact over. <sighs> what do you mean by that? Ammo's out there. If you haven't seen it at your local gun shore, shore store the box stores, online, it's back. We made it through it. Well, it was tough. Don't get me wrong on that. It was tough. I went so long without shooting uh, shooting pistol as I had a little bit of trouble. Just boo -boo. Had a little bit of a problem getting back. It's not like riding a bicycle, obviously. It was a tough time. The ammo is back. It's on the shelves. It's online, waiting to be put in your cart and to take home. But, and there's a big old but. Oh, I like big butts and I can't that lot. The second part of the ammo shortage is the price. It's there. It's available now. You used to not be able to see oddball calibers were just gone. They're back now. Even standard 9, 762 by 39, 223, 556, 40, 45. 380 it's back it's on the shelves but the retailers are still holding on to the pricing now there is a little bit of good news just a few months ago steel case wolf or tula nine millimeter was nine hundred dollars a case good news is this week i've been getting updates and emails in and i ain't gonna tell you where the emails come from because youtube don't like that kind of stuff but if you've ever searched for ammo, you know. If you've ever used Google, you, you know where the email signs up. $530 a case now. That, in a, just a couple of months, has dropped almost $400. What I have to say to that is the naysayers on all of my ammo shortage videos that say it, the price will never go back. $530 is still $400 higher than what it was before the ammo shortage. But we dropped $400 on a case. This is online. I know everybody's local gun shops have been different through this whole time in different parts of the country. I'm talking online prices. $400 going down in just a few short months is a great sign. That tells me 
the majority of the people have held off and prices are going to come back down if we continue to hold off. Very hard for me. Y'all know I just went and blasted out a thousand rounds of 762 by 39 on the PSA AK-103. <sighs> it was ammo I had. Now it's ammo I'm looking at having to replenish. I'm still holding off on replenishing. Why? Yes, 762 by 39 went up to about five, six hundred dollars a case. It is now back down at three hundred and eighty dollars a case. Not bad if you ask me, but it's definitely not the two hundred dollars it was, the hundred and seventy to two hundred dollars a case it was before. But it's going back down, so I'm gonna hold off just a little bit longer to replenish that. Same with this hungry girl right here. She done ate up my my stock I was willing to pew pew in nine. Seeing the price comes down is keeping me motivated and positive and making me want to get on camera and slurp some coffee for Darren. This one's for you, Darren. I ain't gonna let that go, Darren. Darren. Mm. Prices is all we have to deal with. It's back on the shelves. So the surplus, I who knows the actual reasons why any of this has taken place. There's there's the obvious so many new gun owners. Well, guess what? All those new gun owners got their guns. They went out shooting. They're like, yeah, 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 yeah. They're not shooting no more. It's the typical, even before the pandemic, the pandemic, the riots, all this and that, even before that, a new person who buys a gun typically goes out and buys rounds. They shoot and then they're like, yeah, no. And they go back on their other hobbies and they just have their gun. They don't buy ammo anymore. So we've gotten through that is what it seems like. Ammo's back on the shelves. The prices are coming down. If we hold out just a little bit longer, my goodness, those $130 case and nine pew steel case gun groceries is coming back. There's conspiracies. There are no conspiracies. Who knows what the hell the ammo companies are doing with the government, whatever. But they're going to take our guns. That's not a conspiracy. They are trying to take your gun. Stop calling that a conspiracy. The certain side wants to take them. They want to take the ammo. That's not a conspiracy. That's the truth. Also, the truth is, the ammo's back. And the prices are coming down. $400 drop and a case of steel case 9mm. I feel bad if you spent $900 on a case of steel case 9. Uh, I'm sorry you, you got bamboozled. Just a few short months later, it's down to $530. And I feel bad if you buy that too because you're getting bamboozled. Just wait. Just wait. I know we all want to go pew pews. We all want to go pow pow pew pew. I, I do too. Just wait and we'll get there. We made it through the first half. We're in the second half, which is the home stretch. Thank you for stopping by, Cackle Man. I appreciate it very much. If you want to support the channel, click on the field. The links in the description down below. Buy yourself one of these. Do my digs right here. Mm, that's a bad man pajama coffee mug. I've had this for a while now. I can't remember how much or how long. It's definitely been half a year. It's, it's definitely been half a year since I made these. Goes in the dishwasher all the time. I am extremely surprised. No fading. None whatsoever. That's pretty good from Teespring. You don't have to buy one. If you do, that's badass. Some of you are buying them, and that is sweet. Somebody bought a t-shirt, too. I don't even have a t-shirt, so... Thank you for that. That's badass. If you want to support channel any more than that, get you some coffee. I don't sell coffee, but get some coffee and slurp it. If you got coffee going on right now, give a slurp for Darren. Big boy Darren Cohen. Ah. Anywho, check you in the next video, dudes and dudesettes. Stay positive, hold out, and was going back to what it was. Mmm.